I think I grew up in life not knowing how much trauma I experienced. You, you know, unknowingly are living that narrative where you're in full on survival mode. And then just learning the ability to recognize and give language to those traumas and take away the responsibility from yourself. Um, you know, I think that it helped me learn ways in which I can also encompass that with my clients because there's so many different forms of traumas that people don't even understand that they've gone through th trauma until somebody points it out and it starts to help you make sense of everything. It's like, okay, now everything starts to make sense. Now I understand why I do these things or I feel this way or I understand why this fear takes over. I'm a big believer, again, like there's the wisdom in the wound in the sense that um, there's so much of the event or the, our histories or experiences that sometimes get overlooked in the ways that we are doing such kick-ass work by ourselves for ourselves. Um, and that's because we just naturally have a negativity bias, right? Where we're constantly thinking about the worst of the worst that's happened to us because in an evolutionary standpoint, we're survival beings. We need to make sure we never have that happen again. And sometimes individuals that experience trauma, they get stuck in that um, cycle where their survival mode is completely manifesting in so many different behaviors and so many different um, you know, emotions and thoughts where they're trying to protect themselves, but it gets in the way of where they wanna go in life. And just helping individuals celebrate and figure out ways in which they're helping to keep moving forward um, and they can translate that to align themselves with the life that they want or the goals they want to reach. I think that's kind of what's missing in the world of trauma. And I, I hope that more people empower that framework because you know, I'm a big believer in shifting away from fragilizing, fragilizing clients who have experienced trauma to shift towards like resiliency and empowerment because those two pieces of the story I think kind of get overlooked quite often. This is your time, your money, your therapy. So if any point you don't feel comfortable and we can't work around it, that's totally okay. I want you to get the best opportunity. And often clients are, they don't, they're, they always tell me they don't get that message. They're not even aware that they could request different therapists or they can switch to somebody um, because I feel like navigating the system of mental health is so sticky and tricky. And because it's so stigmatized, there's not a lot of information about how to go around a lot of these issues or a lot of these limitations. So definitely I'm very open with my clients to recognize that this is their opportunity to learn and grow. So whatever is in their best interest, I'll always prioritize.